but that's the sin for me. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You don't see nothing wrong with it because your mm -hmm. mind is so carnal. Yeah. You come out of these type of churches or you attend these churches. That's right. And when a pig is in dirt a long time, yeah. no pig wants to be clean. No. When you've been in that trash for years, it becomes normal to you. That's right. And when someone telling you this is wrong, that is wrong, it shouldn't be like this. It right then like you this. retaliate because sin, wickedness, dirt, Filth is norm to you. That's right. And you fell in love with it. That's right. God is a clean God. Oh, yes. And I come along with the scrub brush of the scriptures with hard bristles. <laughs> That's right. To wash that trash off of you. That's right. That's right. Nothing wrong with pledging and allegiance. Come tell Pastor Jennings that I knock you over with the Bible. With the Bible. I swear it. Swearing. Anytime a man tell you nothing wrong with swearing, you'll go to hell. But I say unto you, swear not at God all. Said it. That's right. God said it. God said it. And if God said it, you better see something wrong with it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? I say unto you, swear not at all. Swear not at all. Swear not at all. This is Jesus teaching. That's right. This is doctrine. That's this right. This is order. Amen. This is commandment. Yeah. They got to be obeyed. Oh, yes. So you that are watching, you that are here, if they, are, 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 and if they ever ask you to come to court and you got to go and take the witness stand, when they put the Bible in front of you, don't put your hand on it. That's right. Tell them I'm firm. Yeah. Put your hand on the Bible. No, I'm firm. That's right. Well, put your hand. No. No. I'm firm. That's right. Fill out a draft card. No. <laughs> Why? I ain't going. Not going. <laughs> Aren't you going to fight for this country? Lord, no. No way. <laughs> That's right. Go fight for this country. Come back bullets and, uh, and pieces of metal in me in a wheelchair. They got to fight with you for my own money. That's true. Yes. I'm a veteran losing my house. I'm a veteran. A Can't veteran. get a job. I'm a veteran. That's right. Only time you stand behind me when I'm murdering for the American whore. That's right. Then when I get from the American whore house and now I'm back in society, yeah. the whore pushed me aside because I've done all the dirty tricks for her. That's right. Am I right? That's right. <laughs> Amen. Many of you don't like what I'm saying. I don't care if you don't. <laughs> Amen. You can see veterans on the streets of America. That's true. No place to live. That's no true. place to eat. Eating in a shelter, in a suit line. Yeah. And still got the military dog tag. That's right. That's true. The only thing this government do, we love our veterans. That's what they say. That's what they say. And then kick them to the curb. That's right. And then when your veteran husband die, your veteran wife die, what, you, what they come up with? They give you a flag. Amen. Fold it in half or fold it in a triangle. Put it in plastic. Yeah. Stand there. That's right, brother. That's right. It ain't no veteran. Amen. Should have to march on Washington. No. And fight the government <laughs> for what's yours. That's right. That's right. It should never be a demonstration of veterans. No. Fighting with Congress. No, no. They get what you died for, be agent for. Yeah. Now you can't walk, and now you gotta fight the government. Fight the government. To get bread. That's right. To get water. Yes. To get housing. Yeah. I don't care if you don't like what we're preaching. Amen. We're gonna tell you the truth whether you like it or not. That's right. Ain't no need for nobody to present America to me like she's some virgin. Amen. America is a red, white, and blue hole. That's right. <laughs> Preach it, brother. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. You would call it hate teaching. 
That's what yeah. they say. Don't try to censor it. That's what they say. That's right. Why would you want to censor it? That's you right. didn't censor Trump lovers. Go ahead, When man. they went on down in Congress. Go ahead. And burglarized the Capitol. That's right. If you didn't censor them, they ain't got no business censoring me. That's right. Preach it. Preach it, man. Go ahead. All right, listen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. What do the rich folks say in the book of Job? Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. They tell God. Depart from us. Leave us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. They don't want God's intelligence. That's right. They don't want God's thinking. No. They don't want what, how God feels. That's right. And this is why God sent a preacher. Yeah. So the preacher can instill in the people yeah. how God feels. And then you make your feelings to evolve around God. And then you come out God's sons. And God's daughter. That's right. That's and right. And God will make you rebellious. Oh yes. Against the actions of Satan. That's right. He make you humble to Him. Yeah. But rebellious to the devil. That's right. Wonderful. I'm not afraid to stand up. Go ahead, man. For Him. Go ahead. He put a hallelujah. He put a board in my back. Amen. I'm not bent. Oh no. God said, "Let us make man." That's right. In our image, and if you're a man and scared to stand up for God, for God. sit down. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. What did he say? They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment, in a moment go down to the grave. Go down to the grave. Therefore, they say unto God, "Depart from us." That's the way the rich folk feel. That's right. That's Leave right. us alone. For we desire not the knowledge of thy we ways. We don't want your information. What is the Almighty? That Look at the arrogance. Look at the arrogance. What is the Almighty? What is the Almighty that, that we should serve him? Amen. A lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. Job chapter and verse again. Job chapter 21, now at verse 15. The Bible's talking about the attitude of the rich. What is the Almighty? What is the Almighty that we should that serve we him? Should serve him. And what and profit what should we have? Do we gain if we pray if unto we him? Pray to him. Though their good is not in their hand. You're no good. No, no good. The Bible says the good is not in your hand. You're no good. That's right. That's right. You are actor, actress, mm. and you got time to cuss God? Mm. You say, you say, Pastor Jennings, it's just acting. It's not for real. Not in God's eyes. That's right. God said, by thy words, that's right. you're justified. That's and by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. That's right. You're going to stand before God for every word that fell out of your mouth. That's right. What do the rich folks say? What is the almighty that we should serve him? You hear the arrogance? Arrogance. Mm -hmm. And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hands. God say you're no good. Go back to the book of Revelation, son. Everybody all right? Yeah. Back in Revelation we're chapter on, 18. We're working on Babylon, the characteristics of Babylon. That's right. Uh -huh. Back in Revelation chapter 18 and at verse 2. Yes. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. He cried mightily with a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, Babylon. is fallen. The great is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. Is fallen. And is become the habitation of devils. There's not a country on the planet Earth. Amen. That's not in a fallen state now. That's right. That's right. All the countries. All the countries. All of them. Oh, yes. Are in a fallen state. Amen. And God's people, many, not all, are more loyal to some of the countries wherein they live. That's true. Than they are to God. That's true. They are fearful. Yeah. Of the country more than they fear God. That's right. Listen. They spit and he cried mightily with a strong voice. Hey, 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 hey. What did he say? Back in Revelation 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily. He with, cried mightily. With a strong voice. Uh, God made me a strong voice. I'm so glad he did. Oh, yes. With a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the great Babylon is fallen. The great is fallen. Is fallen. Fallen. And is become the habitation of devils. Wait a minute. What have it become? A dwelling place for what kind? And it's become the habitation of devils. Lock you up for smoking joint, now legalize it. Now legalize it. That's true. That's true. Lock you up for getting drunk and let us remember. Have you ever paid attention when you go to the state store, you that still go and you that are watching? Amen. It's called a state store. Yeah. That means the government owns that place. Yes. And when you open the bottle of that Jack Daniels or that brandy or whatever you may open, when you open that bottle, you have cracked the government seal. That's right. And then you get drunk off the liquor that the government say you can buy. And after you get drunk, they throw you in jail for getting drunk That's off right. the liquor they say you can have. That's right. That's right. 
think of it. That's right. It's called state store. Amen. Government owned. Government owned. Wine and spirits. Yep. I let you know you get another spirit every time you get drunk. That's right. <laughs> Walk in the street acting like a fool, argue with telephone poles, <laughs> ready to fight fire hydrants. I thought about a fellow when I was a kid uh, back in the 70s. We call his name was Nate, but we call him Ghost. Mm -hmm. You know all them names they give you in the hood. Slim, Ghost, Cheese, everything. <laughs> well, I was, I, I was laying in bed. Must have been about 1 or 2 o'clock one summer morning. And some noise woke me up. And I looked out my window at home. And ghosts, <laughs> it was trash night. Mm -hmm. And there was a refrigerator set outside. Ghosts came here. I mean, ghosts was heavenly, heavy, <laughs> heavy. Brother, that liquor had him seeing everything but God. <laughs> he couldn't walk straight to save his life. And when ghosts was walking, he was talking loud all to himself. And he bumped up against the refrigerator and stopped. <laughs> He told the refrigerator, don't you see me coming? <laughs> he said, get out of my way. The refrigerator just stood there. He went to the refrigerator and pushed it. And the weight of the refrigerator went back. Then it came back up and hit him. Boom. And it made him go back. Ghost said, oh, you going to hit me? <laughs> Ghost said, it's on now. And I, I never forget it. I sat in my window to watch this, this, this great cartoon Don't movie. <laughs> Ghost put something on that refrigerator. I mean, he hit the, the top part was the freezer. He hit the top part. He hit the bottom. And then he knocked it down. Boom. Then he told it, get up. <laughs> Wine <laughs> and spirits. My Lord. Many of you here, many of you watching now, that's your condition now. That's right. You get drunk, you drink up all your money until you can't take care of your wife, you can't take care of your children. That's right. By you drinking, you end up losing your job. Yeah. Many of you preachers are so drunk you can't even stay in the pool of pit. That's right. You come in your church drunk and the people think, oh, Bishop is heavily anointed. He ain't got no anointing. That fella got, he's, the only thing moving in him is Jack and Daniel. But they also have Aaron through wine. Now, let's get Bible for this. Isaiah chapter 28 and at verse 7. Let's get Bible for it. Isaiah 28 and at the 7th verse. Says what? But they have also Aaron through wine. Through wine. Through wine. And through strong, and through strong drink. Strong drink. Are out of the way. They are out of the way, meaning they're out of God's will. The priest. Oh, wait a minute, who's drunk? The priest. Who's drunk? The priest. And who else? And the prophet. Have erred through strong drink. The priests and the prophets. And the prophets. Have erred have through, erred strong, through drink. strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way they, through they, strong they drink. They are out of the way. Through strong drink. Through strong drink. They err in judgment. What? They err in vision. What? They err in vision. Error in That's vision. why you see so many gods. That's right. That's why women up in the pulpit. That's right. That old drunken bishop loved to see that meat jump around. Amen. Huh? Amen. That's why he'll say, preach, mother. That's right. Ah, God is good. That's right. The Holy Ghost said what? They err in vision. That's why you find the priest in the Alcohol Anonymous. Yeah. Oh, about you, countless of countless. mass a day. Yeah. All that wine. Notice <laughs> they don't give the people wine. Give no. them all the bread. That's right. <laughs> he, he, he drank up all the wine. That's right. Huh? They ever in vision. Ever in vision. They stumble in judgment. They stumble in judgment. That's why you can't look at the scriptures and come out interpreting, explaining it right. For all tables are full of vomit. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. All tables are full of what? Of vomit. And what else? And filthiness. What's the result? So that there is no place clean. Hold it right there. Amen. Now the Bible speaking in symbolic terms. That's right. Let's look at what we come to the table to do. We come to the table to eat. To eat. Yeah. We come to the church, yeah. which is the table to eat. That's right. But notice what's being served in church. For all tables are full of vomit. Vomit, vomit, vomit. 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 That's what's coming out of the preacher now. That's right. A bunch of junk, a bunch of lies he's throwing up in you <laughs> out here at a watching and you're licking up the bishop's vomit belief. That's right. Vomit represent what you digested in the past. That's right. And then it come in the present. It got a different texture and a different smell. That's right. When you bring it up in the past, you ate it in the past, and now you bring it up in the present. It stinks now. That's right. He got a stinking message. Unclean, Unclean. preaching. Full of vomit and... And filthiness. Filthy is dirty so that... There is no place clean. No place clean. You join the choir, but that's not clean. That's right. You become an usher. That's not clean. That's right. You play on the musicians. That's not clean. Yeah. 
No it place says clean. no place. No place Homosexuals clean. in the choir, cigarette suckers out there playing instruments, preachers in a pulpit with two wives, three wives were living together, not married. That's right. No place no clean. No place. Homosexual running revival. Yeah. A dyke, that's a choir director. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Holy Ghost! Has. So that there is no place clean. That means every part of that organization, every part of that church that's dirty and filthy from wall to wall. That's right. Wall to wall dirt! That's right. Go you ahead. gotta pay to come see some preacher run a revival. Amen. They have a church anniversary. You can sell tickets at the door. Yeah. Anything that's of God, you shouldn't have to pay to see it. That's right. That's right. The Bible says come without money. That's right. Now without Christ, Christ, if that thing represent God, you shouldn't have to pay a dime. Amen. You ain't got to come pay, see me? No. Glory to God, I come kill you free. <laughs> That's right. I kill you free of charge. That's right. Make your second wife leave you. You ain't got to pay me. Amen. Make your second husband leave you. You ain't got to give me no money. Right. Amen. Make your girlfriend go one way and you go another. You ain't got to give me a dime. That's right. Do it all free. Freely. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Freely give. <laughs> freely right. receive. That's right. <laughs> all right, come on back in Revelation, son. Everybody all right? Back in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. All right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Lord, thank God, I'm glad God made us cry mightily. 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 Amen. God has sent us in these last days with the message of holiness. Oh, yes. Holiness is the message, the heavenly message of correction. That's right. And order. That's right. The whole world is all out of order. Oh, yes. But yet they go on the course of prophecy. That's right. God said this will be. Oh, yes. But the rebelliousness that is in man, how he turned against God ever since Adam fell. That's right. Man been falling ever since and some men don't want to get up. <laughs> That's true. They like it down. They like it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You ask that dirty, wicked, ungodly thing. You want to get right with God? No, no. man. No, no, no. What, what is God going to do for me? Right. I'm not ready to live right now. I'm not ready to stop my dancing and party. I'm having too much fun. That's right. And then after that, he then died, whether he's an entertainer or a recording artist or an actor or actress. What's the next thing they want to do? Want to roll that sinner right in the church and then advertise their funeral and then have a choir singing that they going up yonder. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Everybody singing, going up yonder. <laughs> That's right. Going up yonder <laughs> right. to be with my Lord. No, oh. just change it. Change you it. going to hell <laughs> That's right. to be with the devil. With the devil. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. When they roll you in the choir singing, the choir should be singing, burning. <laughs> Burning, here come another soul burning, going to hell, gonna burn well, burning, burning. That's right. That's what you ought to say. That's what they ought to say. Then, 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 then this time when the old mother's loose. <laughs> eh? That's oh, right. Thank God. That's right. Amen. Hey, these old recording artists and actors and actresses that are full plague centers. Oh, yeah. Die. Die. And you want to put them in heaven. That's right. Put James Brown in heaven. That's right. Put Michael Jackson in heaven. In heaven. <laughs> you ain't going to no heaven. <laughs> you ain't going no heaven. You going to no heaven. That's right. How in the world you going to live the like world. the devil and you going to heaven? That's right. <laughs> Just call a spade a spade. That's right. If they live like the devil, you going to hell. Going to hell. Call a spade a spade. Go ahead. If they live like the devil, Go you're going to hell. That's right. Call it for what it is. That's right. Call it for what it is. Call it for what it is. Let's call it for what it is. That's right. Go ahead, man. I don't care how rough you are, no, how no. popular you are, no. you live like the devil, you gonna go to hell. That's right. You're going. Are you listening? That's right. And these preachers stand over the caskets of these sinners. Yeah. And put them in heaven. Put them in heaven. You're going to hell. But the fearful and unbelieving. The Bible speaks plain. In Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 8. You, but know, the fear you know I ain't preaching for folks that like me. No way. You know I ain't preaching for love. Oh, no. But we'll sue you. Why, why do I care? That's right. I ain't got nothing to give you know-how. <laughs> That's right. I have been threatened 
by religious organizations yeah. and them that are not religious all around the world. Do I even look like someone that's scared? That's right. You see our schedule. Yeah. You know where we're going to be every place. Oh, yeah. Just bring it and stop talking. Amen. Otherwise, in that, we're going to preach what's written. That's right. God made me a preacher. That's right. I don't fear nobody but God. That's it. I don't care what entertainer or artist. You die without God, you going right to hell. But the fearful and unbelieving. In chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 8. The fearful. And unbelieving. And the unbelieving. And the abominable. And the abominable. And murderers, murderers and whoremongers, whoremongers and sorcerers, sorcerers and idolaters, idolaters and all liars, all liars shall have their part, in the, have their part in, the lake in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Look at the things some of you actors have said Amen. about Jesus. Yeah. Denzel, look at what you said about Jesus in your Malcolm X role yeah. when you was in prison. Yeah. Jesus ain't done nothing for me. F Jesus. Mm. He ain't done a GD for me. My Lord. Look at what the man said who died from cancer. Yeah. Who prayed for the, as the Black Panther. Yeah. Look at his last role. They gave him almost about five or six minutes of unlimited blasphemy. My Lord. He said F God. My Lord. F Jesus. Mm. He said the H-E double L with God. By thy words thou shalt be justified. In Matthew well, 12, verse 37. Jesus, that's acting, not in God eyes. For by thy words. God said it. Thy words. God said it. For by thy God words. God said it. Thou shalt be justified. Yes. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Yes. By thy words thou shalt be condemned. Amen. Are you getting what the old man is telling you? Amen. Preachers are scared to preach what we preach. Yes. Oh, yeah. Scared of reprisals and getting yes. insults and I don't care nothing about that stuff. <laughs> no. I mean, as long as God is happy, I'm happy. That's right. That's all that matters. That's right. We are, we are facing the end of all things and Babylon is getting worse and worse. Worse and worse. And here's folks trying to take these sinners and make them Christians. That's right. <laughs> That's what they do. Every artist who's an entertainer, who entertained the world, yeah. when they die, yes, Christian. Christian. Every last one of them. That's Choirs. Right. Make them a Christian. Yeah. All of a sudden they talk about their God fearing. <laughs> Amen. They love the Lord. Yep. yep. Died blues singer. Yeah. Died R&B and playing gospel. That's right. Died homosexual. Yeah. Died a player. That's right. Died a pimp. Yeah. They even got a pimp convention. My Lord, my Lord. They even have a pimp convention in America. <laughs> there is a preacher mm. who called himself a pimp. He's a renowned pimp. Lord have mercy. Walk around with glasses that look like stars, like what Bootsy Barnes used to wear back in the 70s. Yeah. He's a, he, he's a proud pimp and don't hide it. Mm. Right away they say he's a man of God. Which God? That's right. He's a man of the God of this world. That's right. You see, they say this preaching is outdated. They say <laughs> Pastor Jennings is behind the times. No, the Bible will keep me updated with everything that's going on. That's right. What did the word of God say? Read fast, son. Back in Revelation 18 and verse 2. What is it? And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Yes. Saying, Babylon the great is fallen, Babylon the is, great fallen. is falling, is falling. And it's become the habitation of devils. Yes. And the hold of every foul spirit. It's, wait a minute. Babylon holds what there? Every foul spirit. Every foul spirit. Years ago when folks claimed they was homosexual, they kept it hushed on the down low. Yeah. A homosexual can get a job quicker than a person of color can. That's true. That's true. Hmm. See, we call a spade a spade. Yeah. You call a black man nigger, mm. take a long time before the judge may agree. That's true. You fire a homosexual, judge will find you right away. That's right. Why? What's in America? And the hold of every foul spirit. The, the hold of every of foul spirit. Every foul what? Foul spirit. Foul spirit. Every foul every spirit. Every foul spirit from religion to religion to religion to religion. That's right. Amen. There's nothing but a murder and frenzy taking place now. That's true. Killing each other, hating one another, murdering one another, raping each other. Yeah. Black power this, white power the other. Ain't none of you got no power till you obey God. That's right. 
I don't care nothing about your cheap white power, nor do I have any respect for your cheap black power. No. The only power that I'm interested in is the power of God. That's right. One group hold their fist, the other have your hand. God will slap your fist and slap your hand. Amen. <laughs> Are you listening? And it's become yeah, that. I got an invitation from the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. Amen. One of the cities in Louisiana, the head of that, uh, the head of that chapter, in one of the cities of Louisiana. I was in Lafayette. The Black Panther uh, came and he said, Pastor Jenner, we love you down here. You don't, you, you, you don't play. And this is what we need. We want you to come and speak for us. I said, the Black Panther Party hmm. want me to come preach. He said, yes. He said, I want you to address. The different murder and killing that is taking place in our city, mm -hmm. that's taking place everywhere. Yeah. I said, all right, I'll come. He said, what you charge? He said, because we had got Al Sharpton to come down. He charged us 35000 just to stand and take a picture. Wow. He said, he didn't even speak. Just 35000 just to stand and take a picture. My Lord. He said, Pastor Jennings, what would you charge? I said, nothing. Nothing. He said, you're kidding. I said, no, hmm. nothing. I said, I'm not into photo ops. I'm into killing. Right. I'm into preaching God's word. That's it. I don't care if you the Black Panthers. I don't care if you the little cubs. And I don't care if you little the dogs. I don't, I don't care if, if, you, if you the kitty cat gang. <laughs> That's right. I bring God's word to anybody. That's right. You young people out here flaunting yourself out Preach here it. with your two and three inches fake eyelashes that you bought from Walgreens. Preach it. And your Amazon hair and your CVS nails and all of this trash that you got on New Day because you think you look beautiful. Because you look like one of Hollywood hoes instead of respecting yourself and being what God wants you to be. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Well, Pastor Jen and my husband like me like this. Suppose you get sick, yeah. have a stroke, and can't wear it. Yeah. Then what? Then what? He's going to find someone else. That's right. And make them look like a clown. That's right. Love the way God made you. Yeah. Take that CBS hair and throw it in the trash. Yeah. Take them fake nails and throw it in the trash. That's right. Take them paint brushes off your eyes. Yeah. You know your eyes ain't that long. <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. And you claim you some Christian? How in the world are you a Christian looking like Jezebel? Yeah. God, women are holy looking women. That's right. Who told you you look cute or look sexy showing your breasts and your sexy. behind and your hips? Amen. How would you like for your little daughters to go out that way? Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Did you hear the Holy Ghost say? Babylon the Great is fallen, this is, is yeah, fallen. This is why they call me mean. Yeah. Because I tell you direct what the word of God says. That's right. They call me mean and brash. <laughs> they say he's immoral. He don't preach with love. Preach he's with love. proud. You call me whatever you like. That's right. You're going to obey what God say do or you're going on vacation. <laughs> and one thing about it, you don't have to worry about no menu. You don't have to worry about nothing to drink. You don't have to burn no lights. There's no electricity. There's free darkness, free fire, free fire. and you never stop falling. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>